Hi kiddos, welcome back. All right, here we go. So I know that every now and then we have to take a break and think about all the different things we learned because it's kind of hard to keep track. I mean, you guys have learned a lot. But guess what? Today I want to teach you that as an avid reader, it's important to know which superpowers you have mastered and which powers you may not use easily or often. And it can kind of help you sort out your powers that you may not, the, into groups that you've mastered, use sometimes or hardly ever use. And then you can focus on turning the powers that you use sometimes into ones that you use often. So here, I'm going to read this book. It's called Jack and Jill and Big Dog Bill. Okay, here we go. So let's see. The first thing Miss Morga always does when I'm do the first thing Miss Morga always does when I'm reading a story is first I find all the sight words because that helps Miss Morga know, oh, I don't have to figure out those words. I just know them. So let's see. I know this word. That that's a snap word. That's and. There it is again. Oh, I know that word. That's one of our spelling words this week. That's go. And I know that word. That's up. And it says it three times. And then this is the word, the. So right there, did I use snap word power? Yes, I did. And that helps me know that I already know most of these words. So that's really good. Now I can sound these out. Remember, we know that CK says k. CK says k. So when I sound this out, I go j, a, k, j, a, k. Jack, this is snap word, and we know that when I see two L's, we just say the sound one time. We don't have to say it twice. J -i -o. Jill and B -i -g. big D -a -g. dog B -i -o. Bill go up, up, up the hill. Okay, so I read it, but I just had to read it just so that I know the words. Now I'm gonna reread it to make sure that I can add emphasis. Jack and Jill and Big Dog Bill go up, up, up the hill. Wow, that's really good. And it makes sense too because I've got my pictures. Pull, Bill. Hmm, I don't know that word. All right, let's think, okay. So let's see, I see a little girl. Pull Bill something, Jill. I'm gonna use my picture power. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna look. Oh, this little girl, she's, she's using her words, so that must mean says. Pull Bill says Jill. So do you see, friends, how I didn't quite know that word, so I had to look at my picture, and that's good. Go, Bill. There's that S word again. Say Jack and Jill. So Jack and Jill and Big Dog Bill go. Uh oh, I ran into another tough word. Let's see, I'm gonna use my picture power again. They go where the hill? Hmm. Well, on, they go on the hill, but this word starts with D and ends with N. So probably not on, because on starts with A, ah, like Ozzy Octopus, and this, oops, this starts with d, like Dudley Duck. Let's see, they go d d down. So in Big Dog, Bill go down, down, down the hill. So friends, we can use all sorts of different kinds of powers. Today, you are going to choose the powers that you think you use the very most. So Ms. Morgan's gonna share my screen with you for a moment, here we go. So here are the different powers. We are super readers, remember this? So that we have snap word power. I used that, remember? I saw the words that I knew already. I used pointer power. I used my finger, I did that. I used sound power. Remember when I said it's not on because this word starts to do like Dudley Duck and on starts with ah like Ozzy Octopus. I used reread power. I went back and I, um, I reread the page so that I could add more words. 
Did I use persistence power? Yeah, a little bit. I used it a little bit. Sometimes I just, when Ms. Morgan's reading, I just get so frustrated and I might even give up. So maybe that's one that I use sometimes. I didn't get to use partner power because I don't have a partner here and maybe you don't have one at home and that's okay right now. Oh my goodness, I forgot to use book talk power. Remember that we read a page and then we say what that page was about so that we know it. And I used picture power sometimes when I got stuck. Sometimes I just used sound power. And I, I didn't use pattern power in this book. But maybe if I read it longer, I would have. So the ones that I use all the time, I would say I use snap word power all the time, pointer power all the time, sound power all the time, and picture power all the time. Sometimes I use reread power. Sometimes I use persistence power, and sometimes I use pattern power. But I haven't been very good at using partner power or book talk power. So now, Miss Morgan, when I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna think to myself, I already know that these ones I'm really good at, but I don't wanna just stop there. I wanna use all my powers, because the more powers you have, the stronger a reader you are. So today, Miss Morgan is going to put that sheet of paper in the, um, in the Google Drive, and I'll show you, I'll put an example um, so that you can kind of see what I'm looking for. But what I want you to do is I want you to cut out three powers. You need to pick three powers that you're really going to work on now. If there's one that you use a lot, but you still need to get stronger in it, like let's say, Miss Morgan, I used rereading power, but I didn't use it all the time. I'm still gonna choose that one because it's something that I need to work on. But you need to pick three. If you are excellent, fantastic, phenomenal, amazing at using picture power, you don't need to work on that one because you already have it. These are the ones that you need to practice makes perfect. So you need to pick three that you're gonna practice on so that they're perfect, okay? Pick three, cut them out, and put them on a piece of paper. And then I want you to put that wherever your learning takes place. So if you, are, if you have a learning space at home, I want you to leave it right there so that anytime you're reading, you know these are the ones I'm going to work on. And we'll revisit these later. But right now what I want you to think about is these are the three powers I'm going to work on. So if Ms. Morgo was doing this, I would choose, I would say, I'm going to think about persistence power, book talk power, and reread power. Those are my three. I want to use those three, okay? So those are the ones. I'm only picking three. Even though maybe I need to work on other ones too, that's okay because slow and steady wins the race. Remember, we don't wanna pick all of them all at once. That would be overwhelming. Instead, we wanna pick three that we're really gonna focus on, get those perfect, and after that, we can do more. So friends, now it is your turn to get started. So after you um, pick your three powers that you're going to choose, I want you then to, um, I want you to start reading. So have your piece of paper right with you and start reading your books. Um, some of you might be going up a level in your stories and that is awesome sauce. I love that. And you know what? We are all working so hard and Miss Morga loves it. So keep working really, really hard, friends, okay? All right, have a great time reading. Bye.